So here we are at the trucking company, customer pickup. We're here to pick up a new truck vault. They've chosen to send me a new one. In the process, I've asked them what to do with the old one, and I've received no response. Now, it did take multiple emails to truck vault to get some form of response from the get-go relative to the horrible construction of the first one. So we'll see how this one is. All right, checking the packaging, it's completely destroyed. I don't see any immediate damage. Yeah, I think the box is here. The bottom of it is safe. I don't see any on the bottom. I get like. Because here it's all cardboard. It didn't get past the wooden. Yeah, the box. Obviously, they destroyed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think a wooden frame saved it? No. As you can see, this is the second time, and this is the trucking company. This company is called XPO Logistics, and this is how they transport products. I would highly recommend no one using this company, because they certainly don't know how to take care of customer product. All right, so right now there's the new one in the torn up package in the box it came in. And here's the one that's all cockeyed and had a couple of manufacturing issues. So Truck Vault decided to exchange it and provide me with a new one. I hope the dividers are much better than this. They actually come apart when I have product in here. Uh, that's pretty piss poor manufacturing. But we'll see. So, uh, yeah. We're going to take this apart. I've emptied all the drawers out. And now I'm just going to set them there for now until I get some help. But in the meantime, I'll take the wings apart. And uh, take the turnbuckles off. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so let me show you. That's the, uh, the one that's being returned. You can see the shipping container. As I showed you previously. And this is the one uh, they just sent me try to correct the issues with the previous one and they didn't do a very good job. I'm going to bring you in here real close. Look at the way it was manufactured. This one's just as bad as the other one. You can see the bottom it's actually gapped and at the top look how much that hits the centerpiece. Without a doubt that will break and cause that fail. On this side you can actually see the marks from me just opening and closing it a few times with how hard uh, it actually hits it. So to close it, you actually have to put a little bit behind it, otherwise it sticks here and here. I'm going to pull the drawers out and show you just how far off the vertical pieces are on this box. That It's nowhere near square. I'm not sure what their quality control is, but it appears as though they have none. All right, so I pulled the drawers out here, and I brought out a metal square. So there's no subjectivity to it. It's completely objective. Can you see all that? I don't know if you can. Look at the gap, how far off that is. So we're touching at the top, gapped at the bottom, which means it's tilted that direction. Both sides are like that. It's horrible. Let me go to the other side. Hang on. So if we check the outside, again, gap substantially touching at the top. So over that run, it's a pretty good amount. And if you look here, look at the damage to the center part already from it hitting. And I just put it in two days ago. That's how bad it is. And then if you can see it, that one's even worse. 
that hits even harder over there. So there's no doubt that this will break apart because of this build. It's horrible. I don't, I don't know what to do about it. Any suggestions? I'd greatly appreciate it. Truck Vault tried to do the right thing and send me a new one. The problem is the one they sent me is an older serial number. So this must have been a stock unit that they sent me, not built a new one and watched the quality control as the build was being done. They just simply sent me another one hoping that it would be correct and this one's worse than the first one. I totally don't get it. I don't know what to do. Should I send them both back, get my money back? Should I just fix it on my own? I, I, I don't know. I'm just frustrated and actually angry. All right, so here's my remedy. I used a uh, edge planer, DeWalt edge planer. I have it set to 1 64th of an inch. So I planed the face plate of the drawers. If you take notice, some of the radius was taken out, and that's because I planed this down. So it no longer hits, and this side, it barely goes in, but it no longer hits. But you can definitely see on this side how I took out the radius because you can see it. There's a lot less of it. So it appears that not only is the box crooked and not square, but the face plates that the face plates they mount on the drawers are not mounted square either. So I'm not so sure I would recommend Truck Vault at all until they manage to fix their quality control issues. So I'm not sure what else to say. It's just uh, for this kind of money, I shouldn't have to be dealing with these issues twice in a row. I mean, you get it. Once is a fluke. Okay, that happens. But both of them and the second one being worse than the first. And this is an older one. So they sent me an older unit. And that irritated me, but it is what it is. So comment what you think. Uh, I think before we're done here, let me do a loadout and then uh, I'll give you a look.